Hey guys, this video is a Canva tutorial to do the equivalent of a clipping mask in Photoshop. Now, if you missed it, I did a video on how you can use clipping masks to accomplish something similar to what you see here in the uh, ART letters with the overlays. Uh, and I'll put that in the YouTube cards right here. But today we got a special guest host for this video. Those of you guys in the uh, Facebook communities probably recognize her. We have Michelle who's going to be leading this video, this Canva tutorial, showing you not only how to do the equivalent of a clipping mask in Canva, but also sharing some really useful special effects that you can apply to your text in Canva. By the way, we'll also include a link to Canva in the description below in case you do not have an account. But a big shout out to Michelle for putting this together and let's get right to her tutorial. Hi everyone. A member of the Facebook community asked, how do you insert an image into lettering? Well, there's a few ways to do it. Uh, you can do it in Photoshop, but you can also do it in Canva. And here's an easy way to insert images inside of letters, just like these. Open a page to work on. Uh, in this instance, I'm working on a 4500 by 5400 canvas. Uh, that's the Amazon Merch standard size. It's a size I like to work on so that my images um, are ready to be inserted into my Amazon Merch. And in this instance, I've used a black background, but you can use any color background that you like. First job, open up the Elements tab over here on the left-hand side and type in frames enter and up will pop all of the frames that Canva offer and if you don't know about frames they're really clever have a go but in this instance we're going to scroll down until we find the lettering and numbers let's click on A it pops it right on our canvas like so Next thing is to choose the photo that you want to go inside of your, your letter, my A. And you can do that in using the photo library in Canva or using your own photo in the up, using the uploads tab. In this instance, we're going to use uh, some of the library photos and a fern photo looks good to me. And you just like click on it and it finds its way to your workspace. Next thing to do is click on your photo and hover it above your letter, your crop, your frame, and it, you'll see that it clicks into place like that and crops out everything on the outside. And if you're wanting to create words, you just go ahead and pick those lettering uh, options out of frames and insert um, photos, I like maybe some tulips for the R, click on that, and maybe a rainbow for the T, but you can pick on anything you like. And here's a little Canva bonus. If you select those images and they're a little bit all over the, the place, go up the top and click position and tidy up. And Canva now straightens up your objects and spaces them neatly apart for you if you need that feature. But wait, there's more. Uh, you may wish to have a key, what I call a key line, but a, a line around your text to really make it pop out. This is a little bit more advanced, but uh, it's a little bit fiddly. And it's probably better to do this in Photoshop but if you don't have Photoshop, you can do this in Canva. What you need to do is download your image by clicking on download, selecting PNG and selecting transparent background and then click download, which I've already done. Once it's downloaded, you re-upload it. So you go to upload media, you find your image you upload it, you're now in uploads and you 
bring it back into your work as basically a photograph, the same as a photograph. Next job, click on your work, go up here to effects, and my computer's a little slow tonight, but click on effects and scroll down until you find shadows and glow. Click on glow. Now once you've clicked on glow, you'll see that, I don't know if you quite see it on the screen there, but there's this little, these little, little icon uh, right in the center of it. Click it again and up will come the controls for the glow. And you can choose any size you want to click up and down for the size of the stroke. Whether you want it transparent or not, in this instance, we do not want it transparent at all. And whether you want any blur, you do not want any blur. And then you'll select your color, which was white. And then you'll apply it to your work. Let's put a double line around mine because I did mine earlier, but you get the idea. So... Let me just take that blur off. Oh. What's happened there? A little bit large. Make that the right size again. Another little option uh, that you might want to consider is that Canva also has a range of letters already pre-done for you. And you find those letters under Elements and Letters. So just search for letters and up will come a complete range of all sorts of letters uh, that you might like to use. There's any number of really cool, really clever letters that you can add to your design. There's a million of them. My favourite is the, uh, the balloon. So that's it for my first how-to video with Ryan. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks guys for watching this video till the end. Make sure you drop a like on it and hit us up in the comments below. Give Michelle a thank you if this video helped you out. Also, just wanted to remind you that uh, we do have a Amazon merch Facebook group. She's a moderator. You can come here and uh, say thank you. Let her know she did a great job with the tutorial. There's a link in the description. Also in the description, you can find a link to my weekly print on demand giveaway. Two winners are selected every Sunday and it's free to enter. So take advantage of that. And you can also find a link to my seven day Amazon merch mini course in the description as well, guys. But thank you again for watching. Thanks to Michelle and I'll see you guys tomorrow.